Now let's take a look at something called sidechain. Here I have a kick and a hi-hat. If we look at the hi-hat part, the hi-hat is just playing constant 16th notes. Let's make this a little more interesting. I'm going to use sidechain on the hi-hat track so that we will only be able to hear the hi-hat when the kick fires. You could just delete the hi-hat notes on the MIDI track, but there's a much better and easier way using sidechain. Go to the Preferences menu and under the Event Display heading, choose MIDI. Set Part Data Mode to Drums, just for this video. Now we can see the hi-hats more clearly in the MIDI part. Let's start by adding the Gate plugin to the first insert slot on the hi-hat track. Gate is found under Dynamics. You'll find the Sidechain button right next to the Preset Selector. Just click to activate it. This plugin can now accept a sidechain input signal. This means that we can send the kick track signal to this plugin to trigger the gate to open and close. For now, let's turn the release down to 10. I'll explain why we're doing this in a second. In order to send signal to the gate plugin on the hi hat track, we need to enable a send on the kick track. Close the gate plugin and switch to the kick track's channel settings. Click on the first send slot. Notice that there is now a side chain option and we can see the gate plugin listed here. Select the gate, turn on the send and send it a decent amount of level. It doesn't really matter how much level you send because you can change the settings on the gate plugin to compensate for a low or high level. Now start playback. Now you can only hear the hi-hat while the kick is firing. Maybe this is a little bit too extreme though. Open up the gate plugin again. Now set the release to 150. The release determines how fast the gate closes up after the kick signal goes down. Now the hi-hat is slowly decaying. This sounds much better. These are just a few of the neat things you can do with Sidechain in Cubase. Experiment and come up with your own uses for Sidechain.